single or taken. I am. Hey guys, it's Destiny, and I'm coming to you with a very exciting video. It is my one year anniversary since I started my channel, and it's been a journey to say the least. So in honor of it being my one year, I wanted to do a get to know me video because it's been a whole year and you don't really know much about me. So why not? So let's just get into it. I'm going to look up some questions. Uh, let's see here. Okay. So what is your full name? My full name is Destiny Tyra Mans, as you can tell from my channel, Destiny Tyra. Are you named after anyone? No. I'm not, but my grandma would like to say that my mom was a big Destiny's Child fan at the time, so she thinks that I just kind of like transferred over to when she was naming me. My mom was like, no, that's not true. I just thought you were my destiny at the time. It was my destiny to have you, so yeah, that's why she named me that. Where were you born? I was born in Newport News, Virginia. My mom was going to Hampton University at the time, part of the reason why I go there now. Um, so she just had me while she was there, so I was a Hamptonian before I even knew it. Which parent are you closest to? I am closest to my mom, as I already mentioned her three, four times already in the video just started. Um, that's my best friend, my go-to for everything, my apple to my eye, my peach to my cobbler, just my best friend. What is your favorite drink? My favorite drink is lemonade. I love me some good lemonade. Oh my goodness. I could probably name you every brand, every store that has it. Just, I love lemonade. What is your favorite song at the moment? Hmm. Those are my favorite songs at the moment. Go check them out. They're good. Yeah. Have you participated in any sports? I used to dance and cheer. Oh, and run track. Yeah. I danced from like two or three years old all the way until I was 15. And then I took some classes in my high school. So that was that. I love dancing. That's probably my favorite sport just because it's just like... I don't know it's just so therapeutic to me I'm able to like release whatever I'm feeling in my movements um it's just I love dancing and I love watching it like I just it gets me so happy to see people telling stories with their bodies oh, I love can you speak another language hola me amo destiny <laughs> uh, como estas estoy bien gracias y tu yeah. Do you have any siblings? I do. I have a 15 year old brother. His name is Kamari. That's my best friend. Um, and then I have a one. Ah, shoot. She's two. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I have a two year old sister. That is like my baby. That's my baby. Her to death. Oh my god. Her name is Angel, by the way. So, yeah. <laughs> What is your favorite food? My favorite food is pizza. I love pizza so much. I just had it literally three hours ago. What is your favorite way to pass time? My favorite way to pass time is to sleep. Duh. Like if you know me, you know I'm probably asleep for a good 16 hours of the day. Probably. I don't know. <laughs> like, I'm just always asleep. Like I'm always in my bed either watching Netflix eating food or sleep listen to my voicemail you'll hear it like that's all I do with my life so yeah what is your biggest regret my biggest regret I would honestly have to say I don't have one um I believe that everything that has happened in my life has happened for a reason so there's no need for me to take anything back because it has made me who I am today um, the choices, the mistakes that I've made, at one point I wanted to do it, 
So, and I did it, so there's no reason for me to be like, oh, I need to take that back. I regret doing that because there's no point. At one point, I wanted to do it. So, yeah, that's just how I feel about it. Um, let's see. Are you a dog person or a cat person? I am a dog person. I hate cats with a passion. I just, I can't, I can't. I had a really bad experience with a cat when I was younger and never again. Um, but I love dogs. I really want Pomsky. I just think they're so cute. They're like this big. <laughs> and I like small dogs. Except pit bulls. I love pit bulls. I had one and my mom sold them. So, yeah. What A's did you go on your first date? I haven't went on my first date yet. <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> what is an ideal first date for you? My idea of a first date is to just go anywhere that involves us getting to know each other. So going to dinner. It doesn't have to be expensive. Like, I don't want you taking me to a nice fancy restaurant unless you want to. I mean, I'm not going to complain if you do. But, like, we don't have to go somewhere fancy. We can literally just go to cookout and sit in your car and eat. Um, we can go on a walk in the park or on the beach, just like anywhere. Like I don't, it doesn't take much on the first date. I just want to get to know you and know if there's going to be a second date. So yeah, like it doesn't take much. What is on the top of your bucket list? I want to travel. I want to go to Spain. I want to go to Italy. I want to go to Brazil. I want to go to Ethiopia. I've always wanted to go to Ethiopia just because people always tell me I look like I'm Ethiopian so I want to see my people and I definitely want to learn about the culture that is something big whenever I do travel I want to learn about others what is something you look for in a partner someone that's going to put in effort that is something that's huge to me not even just in a relationship but just with your friendships and your family I believe that everyone just needs to put in effort they truly care about you um I would say, yeah, like someone that's going to help me grow, so open my mind, change my perspective a little bit, and also just push me to be a better person and push me out of my comfort zone. That is another thing. Like, I just love being pushed out of my comfort zone. I like having people help me push me out of my comfort zone, so that's what I look for. And someone that's funny. I'm just going to give you my whole eHarmony list. I love to laugh, and I love to just have a good time. And I want someone else that's going to have a good time, too. Like, you have to be goofy. You have to be up for whatever. Because sometimes it's just going to be like, hey, babe, it's 3 o'clock in the morning, but I want to go on a walk, or I want to go somewhere spontaneous, and they just have to be down for it. Like, you got to be down. You got to be down. What is your biggest accomplishment? My biggest accomplishment, I probably have two, I'll say that. The first one is just how far I've gotten in my education. Um, that's a big thing in my family, and my mom's a teacher, my grandma's a teacher, so it's just like... Actually, my grandma's a retired teacher. She taught for 39 years, fun fact. I don't know why she didn't hit that 40, but good job, grandma. I'm proud of you. Um... But it's just always been something that I've just been taught to have a great education and to get as far in my education as I can. So just where I'm at right now and what I've learned so far, like I'm just proud of myself and I'm continuing to see where I go in the future. Maybe you'll see me in grad school. I'll let you know where my head is at after I graduate college. But yeah, so that's my first accomplishment is just how far I've gotten in my academics. And my second one would just be being a role model honestly um i have two younger siblings i'm the oldest and not even just to them but just to everyone around me i try to be that positive impact in their life and try to be the thing that try to be the thing try to be the person that helps them keep going because not everybody has that person in their life or they do they just don't speak up as often so i want to be that person and especially for my brother and sister they're looking up to me so I try to be the best person that I can be for them. So, yeah. People tell me all the time that I'm just so sappy and emotional. And I am, but it's honestly one of the best attributes that I have because not a lot of people have it like I do, I guess I could say. Like, I'm just overwhelmed with emotions and, like, I just care a lot. So it's probably one of the best attributes, characteristics that I have.
You know what? Don't get it twisted because I have multiple personalities. A bitch can turn up on you real quick. <laughs> I can't take myself seriously either. I'm goofy as fuck. I'm so goofy. <laughs> what is the first book you remember reading? The first book I remember reading and loving was the Pretty Little Liar series just because I was reading it in sixth grade and the summer going into seventh grade they started the show. So then everybody started reading the book in seventh grade and I was like, look, I was reading this book before all y'all, so don't try to tell me what's going to happen to Allison, what's going to happen to Mona, because I already knew. Thank you. What is your favorite quote? My favorite quote is, if you want something you never had, you must be willing to do something you never done. What is your favorite nickname? Des? Yeah. Um, that's just the name that everybody has called me. My family has called me that my whole entire life. And then my friends started calling me that a few years ago. So, Des. I used to be called Desi and Desi in middle school and like the beginning of high school. But, yeah. And then my grandma calls me Tyra. She just calls me by my middle name. I think she started doing that when I tried to um, pretend my middle name was Sierra for the longest. I used to pretend my middle name was Sierra. So I would go by Destiny Sierra or Sierra Renee or I wanted to change my whole name. Like I wanted to be a whole new person. So <laughs> fun fact. Um, what is your most commonly used swear word? All of them. I use all of them all the time. What the f I call people I need to stop. I have a really bad mouth. <laughs> like, <laughs> it happens. <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah. Do you have any tattoos or piercings? Yes, I have. Let me start with my piercings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten piercings and then I have two tattoos. I have one on my wrist. <laughs> Don't even know what wrist is on. One on my wrist and then I have one on my back. Do you prefer to cuddle or kiss? I prefer both. I like to cuddle and I like to kiss, so yeah, I prefer both. Have you ever dated two people at once? No. How many boyfriends have you had? <laughs> Great question. Really, no, I haven't had any boyfriends. Um, I had maybe one, and that was the beginning of high school, but it only lasted three days because he broke up. What is your most embarrassing moment? <laughs> I was pants at a football game. Yeah. Rate your driving skills. <laughs> oh. I'm 20 years old. And I don't have my license. Does that tell you about my driving skills? Single or taken? I am single. Hey. <laughs> describe yourself. I would honestly describe myself as someone who genuinely cares about everybody she meets. Um, it doesn't matter if it's been five minutes or five years. Like, I will be there for you. Whenever you need it or whatever you need, I'll try to help you with. Um, I'm goofy. I'm really goofy. <laughs> like, it really takes a lot for somebody to get that out of me. I think I'm able to show it on my YouTube channel just because no one is around me when I'm filming half the time. So, like, you're able to see the side that no one truly sees unless you were this close with me. So, welcome to the life of destiny. Describe yourself in a single sentence. Um, I will say what I say to my sister every day, which is, you are smart, you are kind, you are beautiful. I tell my sister that every day just because it's something I feel like she needs to hear in the society that she's growing up in now. Um, people are going to tear you down and make you feel like you are less than. So as long as she grows up knowing that she is these three things she knows that she's kind she knows that she's smart and she knows that she is beautiful inside and out I feel like that's all that matters do you have any kids I'm a pass on that question no I'm kidding I don't have any kids no 
despite what people think about me and my sister, I don't have any kids. I <laughs> no babies. <laughs> no babies anytime soon. No, 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 no. So that's the end of my get to know me video. I hope you guys liked it. I had fun doing this. So if you guys want to see more questions and answers from me in the future, let me know down below. Um, and feel free to ask me questions next time. I think that'll be fun. I didn't talk about why I started my YouTube channel, but that will be coming very soon. I'll do a whole video about why I started, advice for people who are starting. So stay tuned for that in the future. And thank you guys again for supporting me and being there for me. Um, this is for my friends, family, and subscribers. Um, you guys have always been there for me and you kept me going. Um, so yeah, that just means a lot to me. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.